Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And we will also have our holiday gift baskets available in the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that option. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Chinese kitty situation. Yes, there's an Instagram chick named Chinese Kitty. She's also on Love and Hip Hop Miami. I believe that all these chicks are using these names like Chinese, Cuban, Tokyo, Black China. They're using these names to make themselves seem a bit more exotic. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's not working, okay? Anyhow, Chinese Kitty was trending all over social media the other day because she went on to an internet radio show and basically spilled all the damn tea on Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, and Trina the Rapper ended up being a casualty of the damn hot-ass tea that she was spilling, okay? And I was here for all that shit, bitch. Anyhow, so this is what Chinese Kitty is saying. She's saying that basically Nicki Minaj befriended her, you know, was in her DMs because Nicki Minaj was cool with her stepfather, and that... Once Nicki Minaj got close to her, the only thing she wanted to know from Chinese Kitty is that did she fuck Meek Mill? Chinese Kitty said that she never fucked Meek Mill, and for some reason Nicki Minaj did not believe her, and Nicki Minaj just cut her off cold turkey, and she was shook by that because for some reason Nicki Minaj was still cool with Trina, and Trina fucked Meek Mill. I'm like, ooh, I didn't know that shit, bitch. Anyhow, y'all go ahead and check out this interview, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Soxy video. I can definitely yes. see that inspiration. At the time, I was watching Mad Nicki Minaj videos, mm -hmm. so I'm like, all right, I think I got this. Yeah. I got this. And then when I actually did the video, I ain't thinking about none of them shits. I just thought, I just. Oh, you were just you. You were just you. What do you, um, who were some of your influences coming up and in being into hip hop? And you know what I mean? Especially when it comes to the ladies in hip hop. Definitely, I definitely been around. Like, I mean, just raised around always, little Kim, mm -hmm. and I feel like she just real, and mm -hmm. I just love. She just talk that nasty shit, but know how to <laughs> finesse a nigga type shit. Uh. And yeah, I used to. Be, I, I mean, well, listen, Nikki was too, you know. So, but why I too? really why too? Uh, why you took a pause? Cause, well, you know what. It is what it is. But Nikki, I definitely used to fuck with her music a lot. So. Uh -huh. What you mean used to? I see you. I'm like, I thought you was fucking with Nikki. Mm -hmm. but people what happened? Shit. When you actually start doing shit that other people is mm -hmm. doing, I think it's just sometimes, I don't know. Do you feel like some hate came your way yeah. or something like that? Some, I like, just felt like, you know, the energy was different when it was one way. But mm -hmm. then actually, no. You know what? I think I'm going to keep it 100, right? Go ahead. I should get off this live because you. Yeah. Uh, uh, nah, I'll keep it hundred, girl. Uh, 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 I'll keep it hundred. Oh, uh, I'll keep it hundred. We got a battle Yo, coming. This is juicy. No, no tea. battle, no battle. We just want to have a conversation. We just want to have a conversation. All right, so boom, this is what happened. So she hit me, in, but mind you, she been friends. Nikki been friends with my dad, my stepdad since. Okay way younger she always say names in the song shout out web and nanny boom yeah i've never met her before right mm -hmm. so but they always around so she dm me i say probably like right after she broke up with meek okay and she dm me and was like hey girl what's up i'm in miami what is it to do boom 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 so i'm like oh my fucking god Nicki minaj dm me like i wasn't doing music at the time okay. and i'm like showing my mom like how any of us will react right okay <laughs> and she's like oh he, she probably hating because your father or whatever i'm like yeah that's a fact so she's probably comfortable with him uh -huh. so i'm like all right cool so now fast forward she invites me to her mac event okay. in, in, in new york and we're all cool. We chilling. It's in the third. I'm like, oh, I like her. She's being Nicki Minaj to Riley and all them. You know, you stay there and I'll be here and all that shit. Like <laughs> her minions. But anyways, that's what it was. And then, so <laughs> I was like, it is what it is. So then cool. We're cool. She'll say cute stuff on, on Instagram. I say the same thing. Then I say about two weeks after we hung out for the first time. Uh -huh. She's like, yo. I need to um, speak to you about something. Okay. So I'm like, what? What she need to talk to me about? So I'm like, all right, cool. I, she's like, call, call me in an hour. So I call her in an hour. I'm like, hey, what's up? She's like, I have a question. I'm like, what's up? Did you fuck Meek? Oh, wow. And I was mm -hmm. like, 
uh what no i did not fuck meek i'm like i don't even really know him like that she's like are you sure because you know when i posted that picture of you i got people dm me talking about you look dumb being next to that girl that fucked your ex i'm like sis i ain't never i ain't never dm'd him we ain't never had a text message we ain't never had none of that she's like because you know you know, Trina told me that she fucked him. I'm still cool with her. So, I will, you know, I just want... So, I want people to just keep it in honey. I have a question. Was that during the time she was covering? Because she, she had an issue with her butt shots? Oh, I know her. No, okay. Okay. Can we go back to this tea? Okay. Uh, I'm pause, pause, pause. My girlfriend, Renee, that they is your body in the boxer. We all know one another. Meek, we know everybody. We all are friends. So, Nicki Minaj had a uh, problem with her butt shots. Mm-hmm. And you you know about that story. So for a while she couldn't have sex with me, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why she felt so insecure that he was fucking somebody else. And that's facts. You can ask Adrian Bond on that. <gasps> the motherfucking T on the table. So, <laughs> so she was we like, so you know. We, I thought we said good. <laughs> Nah, ain't nobody saying no. Listen, bro, listen, listen. You know what? At this point, I don't give a fuck no more. So she was like, Yeah, she was like, Yeah, you could just be 100 with me. Because, like I said, what she just said. And she was like, Oh, and another girl I'll be hanging out with. But I fuck with her, so I ain't going to say her name. So she fucked Meek, too. And I'm like, Shorty, I never fucked Meek. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. I never, like. But, anyways, it was. She's like, All right, cool. Boom. She hung up the phone. She ain't never speak to me after that. Like, so you never heard from Nikki since then? No, but I still supported her. I still posted her. She dropped her album, did all that shit. Like, I still. So then she did her thing where she had like the Queen Radio and she invited all these girls, <laughs> yeah. like other model influencers or other like female rappers and all them. And like, I didn't. I mean, I didn't feel salty. I was just like, I was trying to make sense in my head. Like, damn, does she fuck with me or she don't fuck with me? You know, when you like you fuck with somebody, but you trying to figure out like what Probably it really what is. So then that told me right there, like, oh, she really don't, she, the only reason, so I really p- figured in my head, the only reason she ever DM'd me or wanted to hang out was to get close to find out if I had sex with Meek or not. You think so that was her sole so intention? So oh, yeah. And then, you know, I did a song with Safari, but at the time they wasn't, you know, they've had their beef, but they yeah. wasn't beefing at the time. So, you know, I guess they started, he, we did a song together and then. When they started beefing on the gram, he dropped the song. Mm-hmm. So she felt like it was me, like, trying to be messy or some shit, which I wasn't. But then, boom, she unfollowed me on the gram. But that's something she'd been wanting to do. <laughs> and then she had, like, her other friend, who's actually close with cool, my mom. One of her friends was like, oh, Nikki said, why are you still following that bitch on the gram? Unfollow her. And Riley unfollowed me. A bunch of other girls unfollowed me. I'm like, all right, cool. It is what it is. So do You, think you know she still goes to- follow you, right? Do you, do you know... Listen, if think- I wasn't on your ex nigga dick now, listen, honey. Hello. Well, we're going to leave think- that right there. <laughs> Do you think it could ever get to a point where y'all could resolve, well, whatever it is? I mean, I don't think it was ever anything to resolve. Mm-hmm. I just was like... Or do you? Do, would you want to have a conversation with her to just really get some type of real clarity about the situation? Is that something that you want? Do you want any type of clo- closure when it comes to that? I mean, I'm, I don't feel no type of way right. about it. I just, I'm like, that's just what it is. Being so people that, be like, oh, why you used to fuck with her? Or why you... So that's really that's what it really is. That's really what it is. You're going to be on Winnie Williams tomorrow. Do you, um... Honey. All right, so you guys just saw that interview with Chinese Kitty, honey, going off. Them damn lips were loose as hell, okay? So after this went viral, folks started dragging Chinese Kitty. They accused her of throwing Trina under the bus. There was even some type of gif that was going around. It was showing her playing with some damn chopsticks in her. Woo-hoo! I was like, well, damn, bitch, I guess you really are a Chinese Kitty now, aren't you? But she ended up coming out and saying that that was not her. Woohoo! Playing with damn chopsticks, okay? So anyway, social media was dragging her. She finally spoke out. She posted a comment on Instagram. This is what she said. Go ahead and check this out. She says, for everyone saying I threw Trina under the bus, I was in the heart of the moment on top of not realizing this was new people I ain't know about. Sincerely, I wasn't involving her. Something was told to me and I was only explaining the situation. How it was told to me, no harm intended. 
So you guys just heard her apology that she wrote on Instagram. So another thing she mentioned in that video, she also stated that Nicki Minaj fell off with her when she did a song with Safari. So for y'all who don't know, her and Safari did a song recently and it's called She Got It. Go ahead and check this out. Please don't get mad at him crushing. And he got don't want to fuck me. Either gay or he kidding like Cuddy. Shut up and don't interrupt me. Schooling you hoes, he's a stud. Slaying you bitches, I'm buffy. All about Benji's, I'm puffy. All right, so you guys just saw that song with her and Safari. It was okay. It was all right. It didn't make the billboard, but that's the damn song, okay? So now after that, Trina decided to basically post an old video of her going off, talking about, you know, gossipers and everything else, and that was definitely a direct shot to Chinese Kitty. Y'all go ahead and check what Trina had to say. Check this out. And spoke about me, but don't know me. First of all, I'm not a gossiper. I do not play with these girls out here at all, period. Do not, not call my name. Do not mention my name. Do not say my name. If you're drunk, you're over 21, handle your alcohol, or do not drink. I don't play that <laughs> shit. All right, honey, you just heard what the Queen of Miami had to say about the situation. So after that, Chinese Kitty finally decided to go onto Instagram and post a video once again apologizing to Trina for being messy and saying that she did not mean to throw Trina under the bus. Y'all go ahead and check out this video that Chinese Kitty posted. Go ahead and check this out. That you use your certain words and let certain things out your mouth. No, nigga, this is how a normal person works. Like, and at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not scary. I'm not pussy. I'm not scared of the internet. I'm not scared of none of that shit. But I can be a grown-ass woman and say, hey, this wasn't meant for you at all, and this wasn't directly coming for you, and this wasn't to be on no shade room or none of that, none of that shit. This was for me to tell people what happened or why Shorty feels some type of way about me. And yes, I apologize for your name coming out my mouth that way, but I was in a heated moment, and I actually caught myself when everybody was like, ooh, T. So then I said, oh shit, okay, hold on. The next girl name that I mentioned, I said, damn, I ain't gonna say her name. And like I said, I fuck with you, but it was the same way all around for uh, her too. So at the end of the day, that's all. All right, so you guys just saw what Chinese Kitty had to say. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. But like I told you, I'm here for a bitch, okay? So anyhow, you know, this is my opinion on the situation. Um, the industry is so small. I would not be surprised if she and Trina all fuck Meek Mill, okay? Because the industry is small. They all pass each other. So, and my thing is, if you're not with Meek, Nikki shouldn't be that pressed, okay? They've been broke up for a while, but it seems like on top of her being pressed over me, she's also in her feelings about Safari because it seems like anybody attached to Safari, she automatically has an issue with them, kind of like the situation that went on with DJ Self and, you know, a few other people from the Love and Hip Hop series, okay? But at the end of the day, I feel like Chinese Kitty should not have mentioned Trina's name because it wasn't her place to put Trina's business out there. So I definitely feel Trina for being upset and posting the video that she posted, regardless if her or me cooked up that's their business so i definitely think that chinese kitty was wrong for blasting trina even though she was trying to tell a story about Nicki minaj this is why you have to think before you talk okay and this is why you don't go into interviews doing live interviews because there's no editing there's no taking it back you have to know what you're prepared to do and say before you go into an interview situation so that's where she messed up but that just once again shows you that she's amateur and she's not a real celebrity because otherwise she wouldn't have got herself into that situation so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning chinese kitty basically spilling the tea on Nicki minaj and accidentally throwing trina under the bus so go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals Definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.